Um, you know, obviously, 41 to 30 on the glass was the key stat of the game. I mean, we did a lot of good things, but, you know, we talked all week. Um, and having, having a full week to prepare, you know, made it, made it easy to drive home the message that rebounding was going to be at a premium, you know. I mean, a team that's plus 13-something on the glass and a team that, you know, I, I said these guys out-rebounded Duke by 10, um, and Duke's number three in the country. So, um, you know, and, but having said that, you've got to know how to rebound against them. And part of, part of their effectiveness in rebounding is when they, they're, they're a drive-the-ball team. So when you, when you let the ball be driven past you and you create help, you know, then they're going to be a better rebounding team. So we talked about staying in front of the ball and we talked about not helping off the post player. When somebody was driving the ball and taking a tough shot, we didn't want to help off the post player. We want to stay home on the post. And I thought we did a good job of that. And, um, you know, that was, that was key. And then, and then um, you know, we got offense out of, out of a lot of people. I mean, you mentioned Bree and Sammy, and those, those guys were critical today, especially in the first half when, the, when we created the separation. I mean, for Sam to have 10 and Bree to have eight or nine, I mean, that's, that's a lot of points from two kids that are averaging probably a total of six or, six or so. Yeah, that was it. I mean, I was whatever question you just asked me, I was not it wasn't going to be about the points and and how well, you know, that they shot the ball well. It's going to be it was going to be about the the assist and turnovers and I thought Marissa made great decisions today. Ken's had maybe two, but two for Ken's is good. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, for her to go 6 and 2 and Marissa to go 8 and 1 um, and Sarah to go, go 5 and 1, those those are key, those are huge. I mean, we just you know, and we felt like we could move the ball. They're a bigger team. And uh, you know, which is why they're a good rebounding team. But you know, they're going to they're going to be challenged to guard a smaller team in terms of of if we space the floor and we can shoot the ball. You know, we 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 told our players that ball movement, uh, that player movement was going to be important. Player movement and ball movement. And 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 I thought because in order to get the assists and the low turnovers, you got to move the ball first. I mean, we're not a team that can just you know once in a while we'll throw it to. Ken's or Marissa and say drive it off one pass but but we don't normally do that we say you know three to five passes and then drive it and this was a team that they could both do that against because they were you know they didn't have people who could stay they didn't have anybody really who could stay in front of Marissa. Myself and um, tried to focus a little bit and just had the confidence um, before I shot it knowing that it was going to go in and rather than shooting with no confidence. When a team obviously comes out and tries to deny Marissa and Kenzie off those, off those cuts and those screens, you know, someone's got to step up, and that was you today. When you're getting those open looks, I mean, obviously you have a pretty good play any time, but I would feel to see those first couple ones go in her. Um, it really helps with your confidence level, but, like, um, playing with, like, Marissa or Sarah Kenz, you know, who the team's, like, they've been our leading scorers every game, so they're going to try and stop them first. And just like them having confidence in the rest of us, knowing that we can make our shots too and um, get us the ball when they're being double teamed like they were today, especially early. And then I feel like, um, you know, I made my first couple and Jordan made hers, so that, like, opened up the rest of them as well. I think it definitely was, even though uh, I think I hit my first shot and then I don't think I really hit any outside shots from then on out, but I think it definitely still opened up. It, <laughs> what? <laughs> it still opened up uh, everything, like stuff for the rest of us. It opened up like the drive for Sarah, like Bree on the uh, kick out or on her post up, whatever, drive and kick. And um, I think it, it was really nice to see like those players step up because that's a thing that we need um, because we're not going to be hitting every game and we're not going to score if one of us three doesn't have a big game or none of us do, then those other girls have been doing a really good job in practice and in games and stepping up. Um, I'll say it was a little rough down in the post. Um, 
You know, I think it's just Flan kind of warned us, I would say, to begin the game with, though. I mean, you look at their starting lineup and you see 6'3", like 6'2", even their guards. Like, when we have, what, 5'4", they have 5'9". So it's one of those things, like, where Flan was like, all right, you got to play bigger in a way. And so I think that um, it took a couple hits, like, getting down to, like, really, like, see, like, what we were going into. But I think that we overall did a good job. And I thought that – I don't know that they're plus 13 on the boards. I don't know how we held them. But I know that that was a big emphasis, and we did a lot of rebounding. Rebounding against guys in practice, so that will – That'll teach you a little bit about physicality, but I thought we did a good job on the boards and that our guards really stepped up and guarded those big guards. So, I think it's better when teams, when you like get into the run of the game and then teams are more physical because then it's, they're not calling like the touchy fouls. Like at Butler, it was more like touchy or ticky-tacky, and then here you were able to have a little leeway. And I mean, it was kind of rough like when you were being like when you were on offense because they could kind of throw you around a little bit or throw me around, I guess. And then, um, but it's it's nice because then you get to play more physical and they let some things go still.